I'm Mary Nichols and I'm the former chair of the California Air Resources Board, currently teaching and lecturing and working with students on climate change. So women uh, and girls are disproportionately impacted on climate change. Have you seen examples of that or and or examples of women finding solutions? I think we've seen examples of women in their communities being the ones who recognize that there's a link between public health concerns, the kids with asthma in our state in California and the inner cities. That's been the worst, uh, the worst example, I think, of how changing temperatures, uh, changing climate, the particles that come from forest fires, all of these things impact on public health directly and the kids are the ones who are the most effective and so it's been the moms in most instances who've been the ones who've taken to going to the meetings and writing the letters and organizing their neighbors and being the frontline activists. I think the women who are most affected and the women who are leading, who in many cases are this one and the same people, uh, definitely should be called out uh, because it is true that when you look at the faces and the photos of who the negotiators are in the room somewhere, you know, at the UN Center, uh, not so many of them are women. So it's important that women understand and get to see that there are women, in fact, on the uh, leading edge of these issues, absolutely.